One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. Here's what I see on this same chart. And this is two aspects of that, but <laughs> and I think Austin and Harry have talked about this several times and Austin, uh, Harry, I'm going to write on your screen, but I mean, you guys are buying the washout to the test of the last support right at the open, which in my opinion is, I mean, this is like a borderline death line setup. I don't know how much it's up on the day, but when the first test out of the open is like the last support, yeah, like I'm not doing it. I'm going to like see how it goes or I'm just going to skip it because yeah. I mean, if it's, it's just too risky, it's like, it's opening super high in the range, super high in the range. Yeah. And there's not a lot of pre-market range yeah. besides this little channel. And then all of a sudden that's the first, and I'm buying that. And I'm like, eh, I mean, yeah. maybe if it was a daily line, I could see it, but yeah. I think when you're buying, like, I mean, I just, I look at this and as a short seller in small cap, I mean, I'm 99% long in large caps, but when I'm in small caps, it was like, that's a short to me. Yeah. Like I'm letting these little bounces fail, shorten the pops to VWAP and then scaling in with the anticipation that I'm about to have a death line. Yeah. And I also think that like, also number one, you can see here, the volume is like, I believe like 600 K. So like, that's not really a lot of volume oh, for yeah. this particular setup. And also I think that like, you know, the move had already kind of happened to me pre-market, like pre-market, the move that this person was looking for had already kind of happened pre-market, right? So we have all these longs that are probably FOMOing in because they missed the pre-market move. Yep. And then now we have all these trap longs all the way down. Um, people are probably slamming it on the bid short and like that kind of causes that like excess and kind of supply and like this move had like happened it, it moved up pre-market so like if I ever miss a move or feel like I've missed a move pre-market I usually kind of just like skip the stock or avoid it because like I don't want to be that guy who's like trying to get a bounce 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 and then it just doesn't come right and also like if this second ad was planned um, I think it's good, but if you average down into that death candle, I think it's a really bad idea because then you get in that kind of like fighting habit. You just keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. So, I mean, that's also something that you should note as well. And another thing that I just want to say quickly is that like, I love my trades to work right away in these particular setups. And if it's not working right away, then, and I feel like I'm fighting and I feel like it's not popping, it's not popping, it's not popping, then it's probably not going to pop and you probably need to go to the next line lower. Yeah. I don't know if you want to add anything to that. I mean, me and Austin have talked about this several times. It's that time stop aspect. Yeah, 100%. For me, if your time frame that you trade on is one minute, you should be right in your trade in one minute or less. Yeah. Like if you're on a tiny time frame, like a one minute chart, you need to be right. When you take that entry, you need to be right in that time frame. Now, yeah. if I'm looking at a 15 minute chart, I need to be right, you know, in the next 15 minutes from my entry. If I'm on a five minute chart, I need to be right in five minutes. If I'm on a yeah. daily, I don't need to be stopping out because I see a minute candle that does something. I, you know, it's mixtures of time frames that get people yeah. all jacked up. Yeah. And I also think, um, also someone asked like, how can you play this short? This is a difficult chart to play short, I think, because it just doesn't pop and you what don't also want to get in the habit of just okay. kind of chasing on the way down either. So like, like this one kind of ends up being like almost like a no trade for yeah. shorting as well, unless you want to just take a small, small size position into like a smaller pop because a lot of the time they kind of pop and then they start grinding higher. So this one's like kind of like a hard one as well to short. Anything else to add, guys? Yeah, you want to add anything, Austin? I, 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 if anything, I was going to piggyback on what you're saying. Like, I, I've talked about this too. Like, I like to look at what the sentiment is going into the open, and you can you can see on this chart that like there is a bullish outlook going into the open. Like, yeah. we, we we made a low, we're grinding up. What what long? Like, there are longs that are in this stock, like you said, already. 
and that fail out of the open is is more that it's a fail yeah yep. that it like so you can buy the line and if you get a good price it you you know you can squeeze a trade out maybe you get a surpriser but th that was a fail yeah out of the open as opposed to like a parabolic wash or like emotional panic that you that you dip by that was a that was a longs wanted to see that pop up yeah and uh there was a stock that when it started with i believe like O or something that that ran yesterday and they do this thing where it's like there's this green candle at the open that like kind of tells everyone like the stock's like okay i'm here you know like and everyone gets their attention on it and it kind of attracts everyone obsv and, yeah like you know yeah. you know what i mean where it just you get this green candle and everyone immediately knows okay that's a hot chick for the day in the first minute go to the very bottom yeah of the chart submissions go to the very bottom roll to the very bottom and that example that you're talking about you can see it on somebody's chart they submitted it roll up above midtowns go up one a little bit more a little bit more oh, 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 oh. this one down Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in the MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. I think we also have to keep like a, a max of like, five to eight minutes or something per chart just to make sure we get to the yeah because we can go on and on yeah um, yeah we got to move past that chart yeah um yeah. yeah please to a chart that we can see let's do let's do can we do this one scroll up just yeah we i mean we could talk about that one. it's a great it's a great great okay, uh, zoom out of that one a little bit yeah now now we can zoom out a little bit more a little more there you go. Good? everybody good Everybody see it? All right, perfect, good. Carry on. Oh, let me move my line. Sorry. Oh, that's Oops. all good. Go ahead. Oh yeah, and if you, yeah, if you guys don't want your names on them, you could put like anonymous, I guess. Yeah. Um, I think like I let's just start from the bottom. Scroll up. I think on this one, I love this trade, and the reason being is that the move, the move that a lot of people are looking for, happened right before the stock opened up. Like, I mean, if you're planning this at like, let's say 9.15 or 9.20, you're, you're kind of saying, okay, I want to buy like 3.2. I want to buy maybe 3.1, maybe even three, right? And you're like kind of looking for that wash as along. And then all of a sudden, uh, two minutes before the open, the move that you were planning for after the open happens. And I, I do like this one because immediately we're in the money right away. And also everyone who is expecting that move starts chasing it. And maybe you get people who were shorting it that also, um, you know, they're, they, they shorted a bit emotionally into that kind of, um, that red candle, they, they get into the wash and then all of a sudden, boom, we just get that explosive move higher with the, with the excess of just all those longs are, are going in, just chasing the stock. We're getting all these shorts probably covering over 3.4 and then boom, um, we kind of just drop off there and that was kind of the play. So I do really like this one because like it, sometimes it's good to, you know, if your, if your plan happens two minutes before the open, I, I don't have a problem taking a little bit of size just in case it's not really a FOMO trade because like you were planning for it, but like just in case um, this type of particular situation happens, because I have been seeing this a lot recently and I, I always want to just have a little bit. So I'm not the guy that's FOMOing in at the highs or chasing into strength or like, I just want a little small piece, you know? That was kind of my thought on that one. Yeah, I'm not in love with the first entry. Um, oh yeah, uh, I didn't see the first entry. Yeah, I don't think that that's a good, cause that's kind of at the top of the range. Yeah, I'm not in love with that one, but like, yeah, like dude, and see, like the way I read this this chart, go like going into the open, like just coming from like a short seller, like right before the open, you see a tank like that. That's FOMO. That's straight up FOMO on the short side, and that's kind of like that's the emotion that you want to take it. Like you yeah. have to know that anybody who's shorting right there, like two minutes before the open, is literally yeah. saying, "Oh my God, it's going to tank without me. I need to get in," and that's what gives you your price. Yeah. 
hundred percent. I don't know if you have anything to add on that one, Joe, or we just keep moving on. That's my favorite type of setup in large caps, man, is that yeah. like what Austin just talked about, that open emotion that gives shorts FOMO. And <clears throat> my favorite thing is when you've got a pivot or something right there to go along with it. For small caps, in my opinion, you've got to have something. For me, in small caps, pivots are like daily support and resistance on day one. So like I reference daily support and resistance on day one, like a pivot point on day one, since there's no pivot points, usually on day one, it's like way far out of the range. You never yeah. get to reference anything. But if I had to guess, you know, there, there is probably, if you go back on the daily, just looking at that whole dollar of three. Yeah. And just looking at how it reacts around that, that wash and wash and wash and wash and wash, especially during pre-market, you know, this, this is, this type of stuff is, is uh, this move that it makes, I think that's VWAP, that little pink line right there, that it makes <clears throat> back over three, pulls back into the, I mean, this is, this is where your entry should be is around this whole dollar here. For me, if you're going to take a pre-market entry 30 minutes before the open, yeah. like I agree with that with what Austin said regarding this first entry, this one I'm cool with, you know, it's like, okay, yeah. I'm scaling into the three yeah. line, you know, it just lost VWAP, but this one, this one is like, Oh fuck, it's yeah. about to break pre-market highs. I got to get it. I got to get it. I got to get it. And then it doesn't. And then you're like, okay, well, damn it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not in love with the first entry, but like, let's say if it had gone to like 3.8, like, okay, then obviously in hindsight, that's a good entry. But the fact that you held on to it for so long and were so stubborn is the problem, right? Mm. Yeah. If I was going to do a thousand shares on this trade, th there's a 100 share order going above 330 there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a hundred. That's one tenth of the size. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So if your size is a hundred shares, guys, that's like five, <laughs> 10 shares. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you got to be super small with that. Yeah. All right. Next. next Anything on that guys? Next one. Um, also, by the way, just to kind of keep, give everybody the update here, <clears throat> for the next 15 minutes, we're going to be going through these charts and making comments on this. And then we will go back through the chat and read people's questions yep. on these charts. And it's just going to be lightning round super fast. Yep. Um, so, I mean, again, um, on, on... Real quick, let me add something to Midtown's thing. I just saw his comment. Sorry. Um, when you feel that FOMO, try this when you feel that FOMO, you have to ask yourself this question. If I were not at this screen right now, seeing this happen, would I feel the need to take this trade? Is this setup so good that when I came back to the screens, I would be absolutely pissed that I missed this entry? Yeah. If your answer to that is not yes every time, then you either need to like sit back, relax, or you need to actually physically step away from the screens. All right, All right guys, I got to run. Um, I yeah, me too. To I need to eat. Oh. Yep. Yeah, I think this is a, that's a good place to end it. And, um, you know, again, uh, I guess, you know, thanks for, thanks for coming. And thanks everyone. Yeah. Uh, really good. See you later. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Great, great, great yeah. chat with you guys. Yeah, no, I love this. We're going to do it twice a month, I believe. Love it. Oh, Joe's gone now. But we're going to do it, you know, twice a month. And, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, just whoever, if you're around, I mean, pop by, stop in. Yeah. Right? Cool, man. All right, man. All right. Thank you, Joe. Okay. Later, guys. All right, All right see you guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.